AMD had its Zen 5 uh, tech day, and they made some um, announcements that, that to me were, were expected. They were a drill down. So at Computex, uh, AMD rolled out uh, Zen 5. Uh, they talked about uh, some parts like the the Ryzen 9000 series and the Ryzen AI 300 series that uh, would uh, leverage it. And I just kind of want to go in that. So if you recall, my biggest question was, OK, 16 uh, percent IPC improvement and that's instructions uh, per clock. Right. So put frequency aside, uh, for example, what architectural changes do you make? Uh, to something uh, to increase its single core instructions uh, per second. Uh, and as you'd expect, they made some enhancements to uh, the front end. They made some uh, improvements to the execution units itself, uh, which the purists would say, this is the only way you can get to an IPC uh, in, uh, improvement. That's like uh, increasing uh, instructions per cycle uh, up. Uh, you know, going from six to eight, uh, as an example. Uh, there were some backend enhancements, and this is all about uh, I.O., uh, increasing the data bandwidth, stuff like that. Uh, even improving your, your AVX implementation, and this time with, uh, with 5.12 uh, helps on uh, vector uh, performance. Uh, and some other things, which it's interesting, I can debate whether these IPC or not, but optimizations made with uh, four uh, nanometer and even uh, three nanometer uh, processes also can play a role, particularly if um, you can improve. Now, that'll improve performance. I, I'll debate on whether that's a, an IPC improvement, but it is, um, is, a, is a positive sign. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive into this Ryzen AI 300 series again. This is uh, the chip that the HP Omnibook Ultra is, is going to be using. And what's interesting is AMD says it has 50 tops, and that's the xDNA2 architecture, but HP said it has 55 tops. I didn't have time to kind of figure out uh, what the differences uh, were, but it's something I'm going to do. One big announcement they made that uh, was unrelated to the parts itself was the appointment of a new leader which is uh, Rahul Tiku. Now, I knew Rahul when I worked at AMD with him, and then he had a leadership role at Dell with PCs, but he is now the new senior vice president and general manager of the client business unit. And ironically, I had lunch with him yesterday <laughs> here, uh, here, here in Austin, and I think he's going to be an amazing uh, addition uh, to the leadership team at AMD. Uh, AMD was running so lean on the um, uh, on, on the amount of people. And by the way, running lean is good, uh, but sometimes running so lean that you're not getting uh, stuff done and have the inability to get stuff done, that's the, the flip side uh, of it. So again, mostly uh, pricing uh, reactions. You know, there were, there's always negative like, oh, the Price too high with the Ryzen 9000 or, uh, you know, cash latency. I, I love it when non-architects get into uh, uh, architecture uh, discussions, uh, those who have never actually been an architect. So anyways, those are my thoughts. Dan, what do you got? Yeah, I didn't have a chance to attend this one, so I don't have a ton to add, Pat. I think you, you hit a lot of the high notes. I mean, look, you know, AMD's already working on Zen 7, so, you know, this stuff moves very, very quickly. Um, you know, I do agree with your point on sort of new appointments, new leadership. You know, right now, it, it's a really contentious, and, you know, our, our lab, our Signal 65 lab, Pat, the, our second beautiful child that we've had together, has been busier than ever this year, you know, sort of doing the assessments because, you know, we're kind of dealing right now with everything um, as it comes to these performance and efficiency claims and these constant new launches and releases, it, you know, it's it's what keeps the industry vibing and moving. So, you know, I I, I don't have much else to add to what you said, but I, I do think, um, you know, the innovation pace continues to to speed and you know the ability for these companies to meet the the performance and, and efficiency expectations is going to be critical. Looks like AMD is continuing, um, it, it, you know, to do what it does here. And um, you know, I'm uh, I'm eager to sort of see how this stuff lands in the market. 